Hey, how's it going, everybody? You probably know me if uh, you're following me, you're friends with me, uh, we're connected on LinkedIn or whatever medium we're on. Uh, but so I'm just, I'm just kind of winging this right now. Um, it's Friday. It's my typical day off. Uh, I do four tens at uh, my current workplace, Texture on Aviation. And uh, really, I, sw I just wanted to take some time to, you know, tell everybody about myself. Um, you know, video and communications and media marketing and all that's kind of a passion of mine. And it's sort of what I went to, to school for. And I started to realize that I haven't really been, even though what I do, I can use the things that I, I you know, I've studied and I went to school for and everything. I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about them and I'm not really using them as much as I should be. And even if I'm, I don't have to use them day to day, I have neglected to use it as part of, um, you know, my fun, as my hobby. So for those of you that have known me for, you know, even a year, two years, three years, you know, or longer, you know that I have off and on, I've done some interviews. I've done a couple of anchoring gigs. Uh, I've been in some commercials and um, I've tried to interview people, you know, kind of like I had a podcast. Um, unfortunately, it usually didn't last very long. It always went in spurts, but what I'm here to do, what I'm here to say, um, and number one, I don't use any teleprompters, uh, though I should probably, um, but I'm not going to. So here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna start out with the easy stuff. I'm gonna tell you about me. And what, what, what my goal is now is, you know, I'm a, I'm a hard worker. I am very serious about my job, my career, um, and doing, doing good work while I'm at work. Um, but I've really neglected to take care of, you know, my passions and the things I really like to do. So that's what I'm doing right here is I'm jump starting, doing something like a side gig that I don't expect to make any money at. I'm just doing it for fun and to keep myself fresh. So I'm going to do three different types of videos. Uh, the first one I'm going to do like a personal development video. Uh, I think I might, stick to it on LinkedIn kind of, but it's all going to be part of my three, three tiered podcast. We'll call it not, not, yeah, my three tiered podcast. So one's going to be personal development, career, business, and the like. Uh, the second is going to be where I am going to interview people, uh, talk to different people across different industries who do different jobs that do different things. There's no real limit that I can think of of any industry or type of person I'll talk to. I'll talk to anybody, I'll interview anybody. You don't have to be famous, you don't have to be rich, you don't have to have influence for me to interview you. If you're all those other things I just mentioned, that's fine too. I'll interview anybody about anything. And the other thing I think I'll do is talk about some of my experiences. So what's brought me to the point I am now and what did I do to get here? You know, sometimes you look back and you wonder, it's went so fast and where's everything gone? Where's everything going? What have I really accomplished? What am I going to accomplish? What are my goals? What am I looking forward to? And, you know, I probably don't look super professional. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna, right now, I'm gonna put this on my YouTube and my LinkedIn and, and everything else. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll clean myself up a bit more for, you know, the next video. But I think the important thing that I'm doing right now is I'm starting. I'm taking the first step again. I'm taking the first step quite a few times in regards to starting a podcast, starting a video and stuff like that. But I'm going to take the first step this time for the last time. This time I'm going to make it work. I'm going to do it and um, I'm not going to keep anything from letting me do it. Um, I'm going to talk about things. I'm going to interview people about stuff. And uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun. I want to make friends, make connections, help you learn. And I will learn as I teach you or tell you stuff or maybe not teach you exactly, but tell you stuff about, you know, what's worked for me, what hasn't, what's made me successful in certain things, where, when, what ways I failed. Um, because what I think doesn't happen too often as we always hear success stories and uh, you know social media of course the, you know it's like a broken record you hear it over and over again social media is what we are you know it's our best right it's it's uh, how we look the best 
Failures don't give the speeches, but I can tell you right now, as a 25 year old, I've done well in certain aspects and I have crashed and burned in a number of aspects. And I'm not afraid to talk about those. And in fact, uh, I have wrote a book, it's called 25 Years, 25 Lessons. And maybe before it's published, it'll be 25 Lessons, 25 Years. 25 years and 25 lessons, 25 lessons and 25 years. Something like that, it's a working title right now, but it's uh, slated to be released in spring of 2024. And I haven't done anything crazy. I haven't done anything above and beyond. Uh, you know, I'm not like some multi-millionaire, multi-hundred thousandaire, nothing crazy. Um, you know, I'd say I have a, I've had a fairly stable, stably dynamic life. That's what I'm gonna call a stably, dynamic life because I've done a number of things and I've had a lot of fun doing those the, the things that I've done whether that's working at a auto parts store um, PA announcing for high school and college sporting events local events charity events working as a marketing assistant for a regional car lot traveling between three different campuses making videos and talking to management on all three of those to help meet their needs and to where I am now, to get in my master's degree, teaching for three semesters, uh, how those interactions went with those students, how I motivated the ones that were not motivated or were down in the dumps, how I handled different situations throughout my life. I'm going to share those with you and I'm gonna interview other people so they can tell you how they did it or how they didn't do it because both are so equally important. I think the best way for us to fast track is to ask people what they would do or what they wouldn't do again. That is the best way for us to gather information, to make an educated assumption, estimation, guess, whatever we want to call it, as to what our next move should be. So with that, I'm going to close and say, Again, I'm going to do three tiers. They're working. They may change a little bit. Number one, I'm going to talk about personal development, myself, my successes, and my failures. Number two, I'm going to interview people. I, I don't care who. It could be anybody. I'll interview anybody from Hasbulla, you know, the little three-foot-tall guy. He's a cool dude, man. I, I, I think that dude's the funniest dude ever. I, I, I seriously would like to interview him. Um, his videos are hilarious. Um, but that's besides the point. But anyway, I'll interview literally anybody. And I have a couple of people that, since the last time when I kind of went on my hiatus or hiatus or however you say it for the last time, um, that I'm still slated to interview. I think I'm gonna go ahead and repost the interviews I've done. Uh, you know, I've done a couple with DJ Morse, Josh DeRosa, my good friend, um, Devin Packett, a personal trainer. I'm slated to do an interview uh, with the guy who runs the jail in uh, Montgomery County. Uh, he was a former detective and him and his wife are business owners. Um, you know, I've slated to interview a lot of people. And with that, I'm gonna say, if you wanna get an interview, let me know, hit me up, drop a comment, send me an email, text me, call me, whatever you wanna do. Because if you got something to say, I wanna give you five to 10 minutes to say it. Um, it takes a long time to edit, but this time I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna hold back. I'm going to keep my number one focus being my work. And maybe that shouldn't be my number one focus. Maybe my number one focus should be my health and my well-being. Number two, my work. And number three, my passion, which is talking to people, talking about myself, I love to talk. And hopefully from interviewing people, I'll be able to, they'll be able to help me help you and maybe me talking about my experiences will help somebody who is maybe younger than me, uh, going down the same path as I am. Maybe I can give them just that en enough insight that they'll be like, hey, well, he did it. Maybe I can do it. And with that, I just wanna say, thanks for listening to this rambling. Thanks for being my friend or connecting with me, shooting me a follow, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.